Hey everybody, back with another Teach It Tuesday. Finally on a Tuesday, but we're gonna be doing the slouchy beanie a little different. We're gonna add a palm to it today, so go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell, and then check out our social medias. Follow us. Um, you can go ahead and pause this if you need to, just to check us out, and let's get started. We're gonna be using the Lowland Kids slouchy beanie. Here's the pattern piece right here. So this is the fold here. The fold's on the bottom, so it's a little bit different than normal patterns. The stretch is going to be going horizontal, which is also a little bit different than normal patterns. Um, I'm going to be using this waffle fabric here, and this is the palm that I use. It's got a snap, and so I'm going to show you guys how to sew the snap onto the beanie so that you can remove the palm when you wash the beanie. Alright, so I've cut my fabric out. That's what it looks like. Fold on the bottom there. And now we're going to open it up like this and fold it right sides together like so just make sure all your little points are matching up so once you get it folded right sides together with that fold right there you're going to sew or serge the edges you're going to leave a one inch gap right here so that you can turn the hat out and then you're going to keep surging that curve there and then this side curve here this is what it looks like once you get those done so we're just strictly doing the curves there on the side curves i left that one inch gap as you can see right there and then i'm just going to go ahead and tuck my tails on the outside pieces and then also in the inch gap piece so i'm gonna do that really fast this just helps to make sure that they don't come unraveled um, it's a really important step I feel like and it, it adds to the longevity of the garment okay so that's done cut my little pieces off here okay so now you're going to take this and unfold it kind of here and match up those points that you just sewed so you're kind of gonna open it up and fold it onto itself like this and match those points up hopefully you guys can see that okay and then I'm just going to use a clip to clip those together. And you do the same thing on the other side. Just make sure you're not twisting it. Um, it's not really going to matter that much because it'll untwist. <laughs> you can't really mess it up. Okay, so I'm just going to put a clip here. And then I'm just going to insert these new curves that I've created now. And so I'm going to serge those curves. And those are the curves. <laughs> And this is what it looks like when they're done. And of course, again, I'm going to tuck my tails on the little corner pieces here. Um, again, just adds to the longevity and uh, professionalness of the garment. This is a knit picker. If you've not watched my videos, I use this very often to tuck my seams back into my, uh, back, tuck my tails back into my seams. It's really cheap. You can buy it at Hobby Lobby or waywalk.com is where I like to buy mine. All right, next step here. You're just going to fold the bottom onto the top um, like so that simple um all right and then this piece that i'm holding here once you fold it you are just going to do a so there's the hole right there the, the gap the, the piece that i'm holding together here you're just going to use a straight stitch um if you don't have a sew, a sew machine you can use you can use hand stitching um but you use a straight stitch there and just sew them together and that just keeps it together when you flip this hat out so now we're going to just flip the hat out through that gap that we left open that's what I'm doing now. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial, I, we did this beanie previously. So um, if you need a more in-depth tutorial on how to do the beanie, go ahead and check out our other video. Um, but now we just need to sew this gap closed here. You can use a sewing machine straight stitch. That's probably the simplest way. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do a ladder stitch with some needle and thread. Um, so I'm going to do that really fast. This just kind of hides the stitching as opposed to a straight stitch, which would leave a little bit of threading. And I really don't have time to color match thread and whatnot. So um, this is going to be going on the inside anyway. So if you want to just do top stitching with a sewing machine, that's what I typically do. I just, I guess, decided to be fancy and do this ladder stitch <laughs> that you can't even really see me do because of my hands and the way the camera was. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, but you can absolutely just look up ladder stitch, invisible ladder stitch. Um, on YouTube and you'll find much better videos than um, what I'm showing you right now. <laughs> Sorry. 
but essentially you just go down each side and pull it together not too tight but just tight enough that it hides the stitches and then you just hide the knot inside and that's essentially what you do mine wasn't the best so I probably should have just uh, used a sewing machine but whatever you know you win some you lose some <laughs> Okay, so we've got that done, and now it's time to add our cute little palm. Alright, so I like to add that, you know, where the gap was, and we just closed. I like to put that on the inside of the hat. Um, so that's that side seam that we did right there. And I did flip the hat out. So I do like to go ahead, when I'm adding the snap to the top of the beanie, I like to go ahead and roll the slack of the hat up, because I find if you don't do this, a lot of that slack gets in the way, and it makes it really difficult to do our next part. Um, hand stitching this uh, snap on so you're gonna make sure that you knot your thread obviously because if you don't it's just gonna come right through make sure you get a good knot um, and so hopefully you guys can see exactly what I'm doing here to knot my thread cool little trick I learned um, so it makes a big enough knot on the ends that it's not gonna go through this fabric but don't pull too hard because um, it absolutely can still come through um, the point is to get it get a starting point so that doesn't come through so that you can actually wrap the thread around the holes that I'm about to show you in a second. So I do like to start from the bottom of the hat, the inside, so like underneath, and you are gonna be gonna be kind of doing this blind, so if you wanna use a thimble, you may wanna do that. Um, but if you're perfectly okay stabbing your finger, you know, go ahead, I, that's me. <laughs> so that's my initial thread here. And as you can see, there's holes on the snap. Um, there's actually eight holes, and there are two holes close together in four spots. And so what I like to do is I like to just wrap my thread twice around two holes before I move on to the next two holes. Again, I'm really sorry I didn't do this um, perfectly on camera, but you get the gist of it. You literally are just going in and out. Um, you come out one hole and in the hole beside it. And then same thing again, I double up. You can triple up if you think it's not gonna withhold um, laundry and all that. But I just keep doing that and go all the way around and then once I get back to where I started, I reinforce that spot one more time. And it's just tedious work. You can absolutely probably put this on um, using a button foot. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but you can probably do that. Um, so then I just go ahead and go through the back a few times underneath the snap. And then the last time I go through it, I just leave a loop. A small loop and mine tried to act funny on me and so pretty much you leave the loop and then you're gonna go through the back of it three times be careful not to get it all jumbled up three times here and then you pull it tight and you knot it off and then you just cut off the excess it's that simple um, and like it would be pretty much the same thing with a loop, but you could just use a sewing machine to add a loop on because some of these palms have loops. I prefer the snaps because um, they're super easy to put on and off. Snap that palm back on and it is done. And so this is what it looks like finished. And it's really simple, super cute. Just take that palm off when you want to wash it in the washing machine so that that palm doesn't get all frizzy. And so I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you make some really cute palm beanies. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye.